using image assets. Currently we are in section 2 and we are about to check out the 5th video of this section. So in this video we will see how to use image in our application by loading the image from the assets. Well the assets are basically the resources that we add locally in our own application. That is all the assets such as images are locally defined in our application and it is not loaded from the server. So let us see the code in action. Now to add an image we have to create a new folder. Let us call it as images. Now within image I will just paste a new file. Well I have just added a flight.png image that appears to be like this. If you want you can add the image of your own choice. But if you want the same image in your application then go to the source code github link that is present in the description below the video. Once you get the image go to the pubspec.yaml file. Where you have to declare that you are using this image. So on the top you will find here the asset section. Just uncomment these two lines of code. And make sure you just have two spaces from the left 1 and 2. And similarly here as well 1 and 2. Perfect. And then define your image name which in my case is flight.png. You can also use other formats such as jpeg, bmp, gif files and so on. And now go to main.dart. Here no changes required for the code. So let us go to our home class which is present here in home.dart file. Now on the top if you notice we have some issue. It says pubspec has been edited. So here just get dependencies. It will actually update your flutter packages. Once you are done let us now launch the application. Now from the previous video we know that this is actually our column and these are the two elements of our column. So down below within the same column let us add our third element as an image. So for that what we will do down below here just for the sake of simplicity I will create a new class and call it as flight image asset that extends from stateless widget. Perfect. Let us now override our build method. Great. And there let us define our asset image. And as a parameter you have to pass the asset name which we have actually defined here. Just copy it and paste it here as a string value. And then define your image object. Now since we are loading our image from the assets so here as a value of the image I will pass asset image. And finally define your container where as a child we will have our image. And then return it from your build method. Perfect. This completes our code. Now as a third element of our column that is this column we are going to add the third element as the image. So down below here after this row just put a comma give it a new line and define your image. So for that I will just instantiate my flight image asset and we are good to go. Launch the application. Looks great isn't it? We have the third element in our column as our flight ticket image. Now in your case if your image looks quite bigger so in that case you can also assign the width and height to your image by using the width property. Let's call it 250.0 and height as again 250.0. Perfect. And for me no significant changes. Our application looks perfect. So that's all for this video. Now in the next video we will add a raise button and also learn how to use the alert dialog.